So let's talk about offers, right? You're a seller, a buyer submits an offer. Offers have a deadline which we should respond by. Of course, if we don't, we can counter it back together. Um, some people believe that, some don't. Depends on your lawyer. Um, I personally believe that I could send a counter offer to an offer 10 years later, and if you're okay with it, we sign it and we're still going. We just obviously have to change the dates and deadlines. So an offer is exactly that. It's only an offer. If people call it a contract, it's not a contract until both parties sign it. So we get an offer, it's got dates, it's got deadlines, it's got what they're going to pay, what the earnest money is going to be, and all the things we're going to negotiate uh, up front, and possibly some that will get negotiated later through the dates and deadlines. So uh, we get multiple offers sometimes, then we have to use all of our knowledge from past experience to choose the best offer for the client that is the seller. We make the best decision they can because we have lots of different loans. VA, FHA, cash, uh, obviously it's not a loan, conventional. Those are sort of the options that are the main options, but there's other stuff out there too. You know, CHAP, a conventional, CHAP, FHA, you know, all these different things, bond program. So there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into choosing the best offer, especially when we have multiple offers, which generally has been the case lately. But for years, multiple offers was very rare. Uh, we didn't deal with it like we do now.